Come on, girls. Just like clockwork, huh, boy? Don't be pushing, all right? Everybody get some. Strawberries, too. Now I'm never gonna have enough money to save up for a new computer. All because of those stupid birds. Well, that's why I gave you that acre, right? See how hard it is to make a living off the land. I know how you feel, sweetie. It's not the rabbits eating my vegetable garden, it's the deer eating my flowers. Well, I'll tell you what, nothing bothers those cows. Beef press is looking good, Dad. Yeah, you keep at it with that herd, and you're gonna make yourself some real money. Bobby, can you step by Kessler's, pick up some chicken feed? Yeah, sure. Of course he will. As long as Amy Kessler's working the register. Emo, Amy, as I like to call her. She's not emo. She's so emo. Even her horses are emo. She combs their forelocks all down over their eyes. <laughs> really? Sorry, I didn't hear you come in. You're kind of jumpy for the middle of the day. It's a poem I'm reading for English class. It's creepy and sad, but it's really beautiful too. Listen. We are the hollow men. We are the stuffed men, leaning together. Headpiece filled with straw. Alas, our dried voices, when we whisper together, are quiet and meaningless as wind in dry grass or rat's feet over broken glass in our dry cellar. You know this poem? Where I come from? You call that a dumb question. Where did you come from? You know what that poem's about? The end of the world. I don't know why folks get so edgy about that. The end of the world, I mean. Be quiet. Nice and quiet. <laughs> For the jerky. Loud, ain't it? Howdy. 
Who was that? It's that guy that we saw in Kessler's. Remember, he was wanting me the poem. What did he want? He wanted to know if we had any pests. Pests? Eating our crops. Yeah, why? You want to know if I want to scare him away? He said he had a scarecrow that would get rid of everything. A scarecrow? But I want you buying anything from this guy. He, he seems like a creep. He's not a creep. He just wanted to help. Yeah, well, we don't need his help. What's in the sack? Something for a school project. Did he give it to you? Cut it out, Bobby. OK, you're not my parent. You've got your cattle. Nothing bothers them. I'm just trying to raise some crops and make some money. You don't care at all. See him again, you come get me. Or dad, OK? You're a scary scarecrow. You wouldn't be of much help if you weren't, though. I guess you need a backbone. You just get home? Been here for a bit. Did you see Scout? Uh-uh. Scout! Come here, boy! Probably off track in a raccoon or something. All right, what'd you do with it? Do with what? Oh, you know what I'm talking about. I don't. What are you talking about? You didn't move it? Move what? The scarecrow. The scarecrow? What? You mean the one that Creep was telling you about? You you bought a scarecrow off of him? No, I didn't buy it. He he gave it to me. You lied to me, Jenny. Really didn't move it? Mom and Dad don't know anything about a scarecrow. You didn't tell him that I got it from the stranger, did you? No. Your little secret is safe. I made it sound like I thought you were going to make one, but I guess you decided not to. Thanks, Bobby. They'd have a cow if they knew. So what do you think happened to it? Some neighbor kids, maybe? A little prank, I don't know. Listen. It's so quiet. Not a cricket. Yeah. Scout! Sure wish I knew where that dog got off, too.
How'd it get there? Someone's messing with us. Sure got rid of the crows. If they're not eating my corn, I can either hear them or see them all over the place. Yeah. Yeah, it's quiet. I don't like that thing. Let's just burn it. No! Bobby, you have no right. Okay, you're going to make money off of your cows, but this is all I got. Just because some kid played a trick on us, you're all freaked out? Well, guess what? I'm not scared of it. But I'm glad the crows are. Where are you girls? Please don't that, please. Yeah. Do you know where Mom and Dad are? Uh, they're home. They're not in the house. Maybe they went for a hike? Something really weird is going on. The cattle are gone. What do you mean, gone? I went and I drove out to the pasture, and they always come running when they hear my truck. But they're not there. First scout disappears, now the cows. What the heck is going on? Hi, Amy, what's up? Bobby, I'm scared. Why, what's the matter? I can't explain it. Try. I have this terrible feeling. What kind of feeling? It's this cold feeling. It's cold like the grave, but it's not like death, and it's not like life either. Amy, you're not making any sense. Where are you? I'm out by the diner, but Bobby, listen to me. This is the worst feeling that I've ever had. It's, it's like everything is there, and everything is nothing, and I hate it, and I know it's coming. What's, what's coming? <laughs> Amy, what's coming? <laughs> Amy. What is it, Bobby? I'm not sure. Something's the matter with Amy. Do you have your phone? OK, call Mom and Dad. Tell them I drove into town to see if Amy's OK. Hello? Anybody here? Hello? It's gone. What's gone? The scarecrow. It's not on a stake. Did you take it? No, hang, hang on. Did you 
you call mom and dad? They didn't answer their phones. Listen, Jenny, get inside the house, lock the doors, okay? Why? Just do it. Don't open the doors, Brandy. Not until I get to my dad. Bobby? Hello? Jenny? Jenny? Where are you? I don't believe you'll find her. What are you doing here? Where's Jenny? stillness peace where is Jenny where's my little sister gone gone everyone's gone tell me what you did with them Shh. it's no one's fault there's no one to blame it was always meant to be Perfect. And yet, if I had no one to share it with, it wouldn't be perfect. Do you understand? No. You will. For you'll have all eternity in which to do so. Bobby, this is the way the world ends. This is the way the world ends. This is the way the world ends. Not with a bang, but a whimper. We are the hollow men. We are the stuffed men. Leaning together, headpiece filled with straw. <laughs>